Thank you for joining me today in this discussion of the plan of salvation using the faith evangelism strategy. You may begin by asking people questions. In your personal opinion, what do you think it takes for a person to get to heaven and have eternal life? And listen for their responses. Allow room for discussion on this question to help you discern what God is doing in the life of the other person. He may be working behind what you currently see in their life. Basically, the entrance into heaven takes faith, F-A-I-T-H. The F in faith stands for forgiveness. Everyone has sinned and needs God's forgiveness. No one can save themselves. We are hopeless without God providing a way of salvation. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God's forgiveness is provided by the work of Christ. It's, it's His work on the cross, never any work that we do in life. Ephesians 1.7 says, In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of our sins according to the riches of His grace. The A in faith stands for available. God's forgiveness is available for all. He doesn't hold back from anyone. John 3.16 says this, God loved the world this way. He gave His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. God's forgiveness is available but not automatic. While Jesus died for everyone, the gift of forgiveness must be accepted or received to be applied. If you possessed an unopened gift, can you really say the gift is actually yours? Matthew 7, 21 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus tells us that many on that day will be surprised to hear that Je Jesus never knew them. The Savior will say, Depart from me, I never knew you. The I in faith stands for impossible. According to the Bible, it is impossible to get into heaven on your own, no matter how good and how moral you believe you are. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 say this, By grace you are saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. It's God's gift, not from works, so that anyone could boast. So we have to ask the question, how can a sinful person have eternal life and enter heaven? It appears to be hopeless, but we can have assurance. The T in faith stands for turn. If you're going down a road and someone asks you to turn, what would he or she be asking you to do? They would basically be asking you to change direction. Generally, they mean to the right or to the left, but this turn means something much bigger. Not to the right or to the left, but to turn around and go 180 degrees in the other direction. To turn spiritually means to repent, turn away from sin and selfishness, and turn toward God. Luke 13, 3 says that unless you repent, you will all perish as well. Turn to Jesus alone as your Savior and Lord. When you have Jesus as your Lord, He becomes your master, your boss, and your king. John 14, 6 says this, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If we desire heaven, Jesus is the only way to get there. Now the H in faith stands for heaven. Heaven is a place where we will live with God forever. We will forever be in His presence. John 14, 3 says this, If I go away and prepare a place for you, I will come back and receive you to myself, so that where I am you may be also. Eternal life begins now with Jesus, and it never ends. John 10, verse 10 says this, I have come that they might have life, and have it in abundance. The H in faith can also stand for how. How can a person have God's forgiveness, eternal life, and heaven? 
Romans 10 verse 13 gives us the shortest answer of all. For whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. To call on the name of the Lord is trusting Jesus for your salvation. Would you like to trust Jesus by faith today? If so, here is a simple prayer that you can pray to God. Saying this prayer is a way of declaring to God that you're relying on Jesus Christ for your salvation. The words themselves will not save you. Only faith in Jesus Christ can provide salvation. Try something like this. God, I know I've sinned against you, and I'm deserving of punishment. But Jesus Christ took the punishment that I deserve so that through faith in Him, I could be forgiven. With your help, I place my trust in you for salvation. Thank you for your wonderful grace and forgiveness and the gift of eternal life. Amen. Let me know if you've prayed with me today. I'd like to send you something in the mail to encourage you and to strengthen your faith. Just text me by sending only the word faith to the number you see below. God bless.